They stay looking, I don't want that girl uh, uh, If they ain't looking, I don't want that girl Yeah, she bad, ain't she? Uh, why would I wanna keep her to myself? I know you mad, ain't you? Hi, faves. Welcome back to In Favor of Style. I am coming to you guys today with a RPG hair wig that I'm gonna be installing. And I'm super excited because you guys are gonna actually see how I installed this wig, messed it up, but redeemed myself by fixing it. I am using Bowl Hold Active and then also their Skin Protected as well. So if you're interested in what the final product looks like, please stay tuned to the end of the video. So what I'm doing here is just going back in through the hairline and also a little bit throughout the wig and plucking it a little bit more even though it does say that it comes pre-plucked, I just wanted it to be more to my liking. So right here you guys are going to see how one side looks plucked and you can really tell that plucking makes a difference. And I just want to make sure that both sides look uniform. So once you have ensured that your spray is completely dry, you're gonna wanna do this next step that I got from Glamazante. Yes, cut the ear tabs or the ear around the stocking cap in order to make sure your wig lays super flat. When I tell you this was the best decision I have ever made in regards to laying down my wigs, by far, hands down, amazing. Kudos to Glamazon for this. Okay, so we're gonna be using my True Complexion Contour Palette in the color Sculpt in order to tint the lace. I'm just gonna apply it mainly to the front of my stocking cap because I'm not too worried about the middle or the back. So what I'm showing you guys here is not only the part in space, but that I did not bleach my knots. Now that's something I definitely will do the next go around because I really realized how much you can tell that the knots were not bleached. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and just prep my hair for laying down the glue. And I definitely recommend to read the directions because you guys will see what will happen if you do not read the directions. So please stay tuned for that part.
So here's just a little YouTube recognition. This is Glamazon Tay and also Miss Aaliyah J. These are just some of the YouTubers that I follow that I get inspiration from. And I just wanted to give them a little shout out because I do like to watch their videos. So now I am on to application number two of my bowl hold active. And I am now just doing the same thing that I did the first application and smoothing it on in. So the same makeup that I used on my stocking cap, I am also going to use on the lace of the wig in order to make it blend even more. So you guys, y'all are about to see me put in all this work with smoothing down and voila this happened when i tell y'all i was so mad like epic fail <sighs> yeah so i had to take all of that off and redo it and i know what the issue was i allotted too much time in between um me applying the glue and actually putting the lace to the glue it was just too much time so it dried out super quick but this time I decided to go in and just do it section by section to ensure that I did not let the glue get too dry. And after I did that, everything else was smooth sailing. So I'm clearly happy about how the lace laid and I'm just going to go in and do the other section and as you guys can see I am cutting not in a straight line but in a ragged line. Ragged? What the hell is ragged? In a raggedy line in order to make it look not so straight across. So after laying down the lace, I then went in with some 91% alcohol and just cleaned up any residue that was left from the glue. So right now I'm just going to go in and cut a little bit of baby hair, not too much. So that way I can just camouflage the lace just a little bit more. This is just something that I wanted to try and do. So if you choose not to do baby hair, I mean, I think it would be fine without it. 
but I just wanted to see what it would look like with a little bit of baby hair. So what I'm going to do now is just apply some foam and begin to style my baby hairs. So I really am not too, I would say, skilled in this area. So just bear with me while I try to style these baby hairs. But you know what they say, practice makes perfect or at least damn near close to it. So now that I have finished my baby hair, I'm going to spray them down, tie it down, and then take it off and begin to style the hair. So that's what you guys are seeing right here. I just picked up some pieces and just began to flat iron the root and curl the rest in just some loose light body curls. Okay, you guys, can we just get into this luster? Oh my gosh, I'm in love with this hair texture. In love. So this is the final result after curling. I didn't want anything too tight or too formal, just something very loose. And I can't get enough of this texture and just the look in general. Like this is everything. So for the nighttime, I am going to flexi rod my hair just so that way I don't have to do anything to it in the morning and then I'm going to wake up and take it out and see what it looks like. So these are the curls that I ended up achieving with the flexi rods. They're super tighter than what I originally curled them, but throughout the day they did drop. So I did like that aspect of doing the flexi rods. Um, so what I'm gonna do is just use a little bit of my BioSip oil, rub it in my hair, take off my Sanix wrap, and just fluff out my hair. And I just want you guys to get into 
how seamless and realistic this melt was on this lace. So the next clip is a few pounds down. Yes, your girl lost some weight. And a few months after the previous clips. Um, and I'm just showing you guys that I cut the wig and it's still holding on strong. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. If you guys really did love this video, don't forget to comment, like, and turn on your notification bell. Also, last but not least, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Thank you faves and I'll check you guys out on the next one.